Hi, this is JC De Guzman and this is our video for August 14, 2019 in preparation for the next trading day on Thursday. Everything that we're going to talk about in here is meant for short-term trading purposes even though from time to time you might be hearing a discussion regarding a particular index or blue chip company like for today's episode. There's a lot of index companies that you're going to hear. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to give you my technical analysis followed by my overall sentiment and my recommendations. And uh, I'd like to give two to three final reminders. Number one, if you are about to enter a new position in any particular stock, there's one specific process that you must go through. And that's the calculation of your reward to risk ratio. It doesn't matter if the tennis MACD combo is valid or the momentum power indicator is bullish. If you are not satisfied with your reward to risk ratio, it doesn't make sense doing a test buy on a particular stock. Okay, That's not a suggestion. That's a mandatory requirement for those who are yet to enter a new position in a particular stock. Number two, if you are interested in trading uh, any particular stock in this video, and if it happens to start at a price lower or higher than the dominant range that you're about to see, make sure that you post a request for that particular stock's latest trade and volume distribution and true market sentiment charts in our private clients forum okay so let's begin we got jfc to begin with it closed on wednesday at 234.2 it touched the line it touched below the support line at 220 but it managed to recover the, its uh, position above that level that's why the acting immediate support now is still 220 pesos per share the acting immediate resistance is at 240 okay as a precursor to 260 okay 220 the support line is a precursor to 200 now foreign investors still we're still um, foreign investors ended the trading on Wednesday at a four at, at the net foreign buying worth 4.7 million pesos they ended their how many five days streak Five days straight of what? Consistent net foreign selling. So they ended that yesterday, but only with the missly net foreign buying for worth 4.7 million pesos. But that's a start. Let's see. Now, at this point, the 10 smack the combo is still invalid. It's still invalid. But the momentum power indicator, is it bullish? Let's find out. The trade and volume distribution based on the closing price with respect to the closing price of 234.2 is between 232 all the way to 234.2. If it starts at a price lower than 232, I suggest that you monitor the range between 225 to 227. But with respect to the closing price of 234.2, I will give the score to the bulls in this case. Meaning to say the momentum power indicator is bullish for JFC on Wednesday. Now, I'm not going to give any piece of advice for those who may still have JFC despite those red candlesticks that we witnessed in the past few trading days because if you held JFC with a bleeding hand with a risk percentage or with a, with a paper loss that's more than what you can only realistically handle, that means to say you did not implement a trailing stop loss. So, I'm going to give advice for those who are only planning to enter a new position. Here's the thing. What did I say during the Evergreen Strategy in Trading the Philippine Stock Market Seminar in lesson number five or the lesson number four? What did I say? You can only preempt. First things first, you, can, you have data-driven signals to top up or to enter a new position when two things are happening. Number one, when the 10 smack the combo is valid. Number two, when the momentum power indicator is bullish in this case one of those two is false which one is that the 10 smack the combo it's invalid it should be valid the question is can we skip over the validation of the 10 smack the combo and do a test buy just because the momentum power indicator is bullish anyway what did i say what did i say during the seminar you can preempt that or skip the validation of the 10 smack the combo if your answer to these next two questions is a uh, yes. What's the first question? Do you regard yourself as an experienced and a disciplined trader? If your answer is a yes, 
proceed to the second question. If your answer is a no, there's no sense proceeding to the next question. Okay? So, assuming your answer is a yes, what's the next question? Is the momentum power indicator bullish? If the answer is a yes, which is a yes, then you can go ahead and do a test buy with courage. Okay? Now, again, if you are not, uh, you, if you regard yourself as an, at this point, an inexperienced uh, trader, or now, I suggest that you wait for the 10 SMACD combo to be revalidated. And uh, based on my observation, that will only happen once the JFC breaks above uh, 240 or 260. Yes, JFC has a lots has lots of resistances to break for it to realign the three simple moving averages in a perfect bullish position. There's a lot of resistances to break. But that's my recommendation for the experienced for the courageous ones okay all right the true market sentiment before i forget the, the true market sentiment for jfc is neutral but that's my overall sentiment and recommendation for those who are planning to enter a new position with respect to how you regard yourself whether you are you do you see yourself as an experienced and a disciplined trader or not yet okay next ict it closed on wednesday at 127.5 it respected the support at 120.2 which is which is in confluence with the 61.8 percent uh, retracement of an up Fibonacci. resistance is at 148 148 pesos per share the 10 smack combo is not yet valid foreign investors registered a net foreign selling uh, no correction net foreign buying worth 90.5 million million pesos Risk level is moderate. Okay. How about the, okay, the trade and volume distribution chart shows that the dominant range is between 127.5 to 128.7. This means the momentum power indicator is bullish even though the 10 SMACD combo is invalid. The true market sentiment is bearish. My overall sentiment is this. Same thing for a JFC do you regard yourself as an experienced trader if a yes next question is the momentum power indicator bullish if it's a yes you can go go ahead and do a test buy why the momentum power indicator is bullish if you are not an experienced trader then you have to wait for the 10 smack the combo to become valid again at this point the price is already moving above the 10 SMA but the, but the MACD is still moving below the signal line. But I'm already seeing a formation of a bullish convergence, a slight formation of a bullish convergence. So wait for the price to possibly enter the range above 128 or to 129 for MACD to cross above the signal line. When that happens, and if the momentum power indicator is still bullish, and when that happens, then you can go ahead and do a test buy. All right? Okay. Uh, well, at this point, I'm not going to give any piece of advice for those who may still have ICT because by the looks of this downtrend here, since the second week of July, all of our trailing stop losses must have been hit already. Okay, next. Fen. Fen closed on Wednesday at 2.85. It broke above the previous resistance at 2.8. Therefore, making 2.8 as its acting immediate support. Did I say support again? Well, back. again, 2.80, it broke above its previous resistance at 2.80. Therefore, making 2.80 as its acting immediate support now. So we have to find that, find, uh, the next psychological resistance so what do we have what do we need to do now okay let's try plotting a an up Fibonacci you saw where I plotted the swing low and where I plotted the swing high so we're going to zoom this out zoom it in rather so the psychological resistance is pegged near 4 pesos per share which is in confluence with a 61.8 percent uh, extension of the up Fibonacci okay it depends if you are conservative with the swing low of your Fibonacci you can do this you can do this you can put your swing low right here okay and your swing high right there let's see where's the psychological resistance it's at 3.70 okay 
anyhow, it doesn't matter whether you got 3.7, 3.75, okay? It's not the precise or exact literal uh, number up to the very last centavo. Uh, this is only as a guide to support and resistance. Says le resistance levels are only guides. At the end of the day, what will guide you truly is your trailing stop loss. All right? So I'm going to remove this one so, not, so as not to clutter the screen. Okay? Now, the 10 smack D combo is still valid. That's that's one good news. And uh, the, the three simple moving averages that I have are aligned in a perfect bullish position already. RSI still has more gas to uh, inch closer to the classical overbought level. It's still at uh, 67 points. The risk level of FEN is still moderate. Okay? So here, the dominant range is between... 2.8 to 2.85 therefore making the bull the momentum power indicator bullish the, the mood of the top 10 players on wednesday for fen was neutral this is a mood checker not a future price action barometer okay a mood checker only the true market sentiment my overall sentiment for fen is still bullish the 10 smack the combo is valid the Momentum power indicator is bullish. What does it mean for those who are planning to enter a new position and for those who already have Venn and are asking if they can top up? The answer is a yes. Yes, you can top up. Yes, you can enter a new position within the dominant range. All right. Next, PXP. PXP closed on Wednesday at 12.78. Support is at 10 pesos per share. Resistance is at 13.6. The 10 smack D combo is valid. Foreign investors registered and net foreign selling worth 130.4. 130.4 million pesos worth of net foreign selling. RSI is already playing inside the classical overbought level. So eyes on the resistance and on your trailing stop loss at 13.6. The risk level is still moderate. The upward momentum is very strong for PXP based on its ADX and DMI chart. This is the dominant range of PXP with respect to the closing price of 12.78. The close, the dominant range is between 12.78 to 13 pesos per share. If it starts at a price lower than 12.78, monitor the range between 12.48 to 12.78. Anyhow, the, the momentum power indicator is bullish for PXP. The true market sentiment of PXP on Wednesday was neutral. My overall sentiment for PXP is bullish. Your 10 smack day combo is valid. Your momentum power indicator is bullish. You know the answer. You can top up. You can enter a new position. Not at any price, but within the dominant range. All right. Next, PHA. PHA closed today at 0 0.54. It respected the support at 0 0.53. Three resistance is at 0 0.78. Unfortunately, the 10 smack the combo is still invalid. RSI already hit the classical over uh, sold level on Tuesday, so it bent, it bounced away from the classical overbought level. Let's see if this will be sustained. The, uh, the risk level of PHA is, listen to this, extremely high. Okay? Now, the Dominant range on Wednesday was between 0 0.51, 0 0.5 to 0 0.54. That makes the momentum power indicator, let me confirm that, bullish. Okay, the momentum power indicator was bullish on Wednesday. The true market sentiment was, let's see, neutral. My overall sentiment in here is that it's not yet completely bullish. I would say I'm more of a neutral in here. What did I say during, during the discussion of JFC? When can you only preempt the 10 smack the combo? When your answer to those two questions is a yes. I don't need to repeat that. Repeat those two questions. You can replay the video anyway. Yes. So the 10 smack the combo is invalid, but the momentum power indicator is bullish. So the underlying question now is, do you regard yourself as an experienced trader and a disciplined, disciplined one? Okay. You know the answer. Whether you will have to go through with your plan of doing a test buy or, or not. Okay? Next, Mega World. Meg closed on Tuesday, on on Wednesday rather, at 5.28. These are the top five losers already. Going back. 
It closed at 5.28 on Wednesday. Support is at 5.05. Resistance is at 5.86. Foreign investors registered a net foreign selling worth 134 million pesos. The Tense MACD combo is invalid. What do you expect? And RSI is inching closer to its classical oversold level as well. Risk level is already moderate. The, the downward momentum is already very strong according to its DMI and ADX chart. The dominant range of uh, Mega World on Wednesday was between 5.28 to 5.37. The momentum power indicator is bearish. The mood of the top 10 players on Wednesday was bearish. So, don't enter a new position. Should I still say you don't top up? By now, your trailing, your trailing stop should have already been hit. Again, this is for short-term trading purposes, okay? Not long-term. So, don't enter a new position. I'm still bearish on Mega World. Next, AGI. AGI closed on Wednesday at 13.3. It's now at the brink of continuing its uh, descent below the previous uh, support line so 13.3 is now acting as its immediate uh, resistance the new immediate uh, support is at 11.8 as a precursor to 10.3 the tennis macd combo remains invalid foreign investors registered a net foreign selling worth 64 million pesos the downward momentum is very strong the risk level is low the dominant range on Wednesday was between 13.3 uh, 13 to 13.72. The momentum power indicator was bearish. So the true market sentiment on Wednesday was neutral. My overall sentiment is bearish for AGI. By now, your trailing stops must have already been hit. Don't enter a new position for those who are planning to enter. Don't be too ex excited. So, I'm bearish on AGI. Next, AEV. AEV closed on Wednesday at 49.45. Support is at 46.55. Resistance is at 61 pesos per share. Foreign investors continue to register net foreign selling worth 65.8 million pesos. The 10 the combo is still invalid. RSI is still busy traversing toward the classical oversold level. The risk level of AEV is low. The downward momentum is already very strong. The dominant range on Wednesday was between 49.45 to 49.65. The momentum power indicator is bearish. The, new, the true market sentiment or the mood of the top 10 brokers on Wednesday was neutral. My overall sentiment is bearish on AEV. Don't enter a new position yet. And by now, when it hit uh, uh, 0 uh, 59.5, now that it's already at 49.45, your trailing stop loss must have already been hit. Okay? I am bearish on AEV. Next, Security Bank. SECB closed on Wednesday at 189.3. Support is at 184.6. Resistance is at... 213.5 so 10 smack the combo is still valid take note it's still valid foreign investors registered a net foreign selling worth uh, 3 million pesos net foreign selling worth 3 million pesos on wednesday okay the 10 smack the combo is still valid fyi the risk level of sec secu security bank is a uh, moderate okay Let's take a look at the trade and volume distribution. With respect to the closing price of 189.3, I would say that the dominant range was between 188.5 all the way to 190. Anyhow, it's still closer to the intraday low than the intraday high. Therefore, the momentum power indicator is bearish. The true market sentiment, the mood of the top 10 players, on Wednesday was neutral so here's the thing if you still have security bank because it's trading above your trailing stop loss hold your position don't top up hold your position don't top up once again hold your position 
don't top up. If you're planning to enter a new position, wait for the for the momentum power indicator to become bullish. And I do hope when that happens, the tennis MACD combo remains valid. Okay? And when those conditions are met, make sure that you position within the dominant range, not at any random price, just like what the cost averagers usually do. They rely on a buy below price, target selling price, those kinds of things. Okay? Last in this video is RRHI. It closed on Wednesday at 78.5. So here, I'm using a down Fibonacci to identify its uh, immediate support and resistance levels. The immediate support is now at 76.6, uh, .6, which is in confluence with a 61.8% retracement of the down Fibonacci. The resistance is at 81.7, which is in confluence with a 38.2% of the down Fibonacci. 38.2% retracement of the down Fibonacci, to be precise. So... The tense MACD combo is still, uh, unfortunately, it's already invalid. It's already trading below the 10 SMA, even though MACD is still above the signal line. Foreign investors registered a net foreign buying worth 2 million pesos. Very insignificant amount. The risk level of RRHI remains low. Okay, it's low. Now, for the dominant range, it's between 78 to 78 point, 70 to 70. Nine. That's uh, a bearish momentum power indicator for RRHI on Wednesday. The true market sentiment or the mood of the, of the top 10 brokers was neutral. Neutral. So if you still have RRHI because it's still trading above your trailing stop loss, I suggest you hold your position but do not top up. Don't get alarmed. There's no, I don't see a, a data-driven signal for you to preempt your trailing stop loss and those who attended the evergreen strategy in trading the philippine stock market seminar what did i emphasize in lesson number six you can preempt you can adjust the percentage of risk applied on your trailing stop loss when weakening signs of an upward momentum are spotted refer to the flow chart in lesson number two as to when you can say that the downward momentum is more likely to continue Eyes on your handouts. Review your handouts, please. So you are at an advantage here if you attended the Evergreen Strategy in Trading the Philippine Stock Market Seminar. It's a prerequisite. It's a mandatory requirement when you subscribe to Equilist Analytics so you can understand the universe that make this, that make the, that makes these uh, methods work. Okay, there are things that are, that I can uh, explain better in person so that you can actually learn things in a, better, clearer, and faster manner than just through chat in the forum. So there you go. You've heard my technical analysis and recommendations for these 10 stocks. For the one-year subscribers, I hope to see you on this coming Saturday in Makati at the first Metro Securities Hub in Makati, the former PSE Tower in Ayala. So if you are a one-year subscriber, you can email seminars at equilis.com or contact at equilis.com and you can avail of the 50% discount automatically if you are a one-year subscriber. So instead of paying 6500 you will only have to pay 3250 It's already Thursday. Um, we only have two, two more days before the seminar. I suggest that you reserve your seat because we can only accommodate up to 30 in that room. Okay, up to 30. You can accommodate up to 40 but I only want to accommodate 30 so as to have a uh, uh, a more breathing space inside the room okay for the for the non one year subscribers you can still buy your ticket at the discount i think there's still a 40 percent discount on the website click on seminars and then click on makati this one makati then register here for a chance to get i can't guarantee that the 40 percent discount is still on still up but for a chance to get that discount, register right away and check the automated email that will be sent to you. Check your spam folder as well. It might, it might not land in your inbox. Okay? Make sure that you fill this out. Same thing for the one-year subscribers who would like to avail of their automatic 50% discount. You must fill this out as well. Okay? You must fill this out as well. Again, my name is JC De Guzman and I hope to see as many of you as possible during the Makati Seminar. And I, I'm, I think that's the last the seminar that I can uh, have 
in Luzon this year. Let's see. Okay, have a great trading day for the next for the last two trading days of the week. Bye for now.